Good morning. Happy Monday. Meditation Monday. Uh, it's Tim Wild, south of England. It's about minus one here. So this is again. This is a bit of a race against the runny nose. Now, I've most of the information that I put out at the moment is based on kind of a collective pool of of queries or questions or things that that, that you want to know about. And obviously, I covered quite a lot of of current questions and concerns and and basically what's going on at the moment on friday but one of the enduring questions and one of the uh, one of the, the the most common answers that i i put out is how do we deal with what is going on at the moment and and my answer is always keep your light high as possible keep your vibration clean clear precise sparkly pristine and keep your chakras in order as within so without whatever you are vibrating with within your four body system will reflect or project out into your external personal universe so this morning i'm going to go through a it's it's a fairly quick meditation i mean it would take you five or ten minutes in the morning and um for, for the mandalorian fans of you amongst you out there this is the way this is the way that i have been <clears throat> working with myself since probably 2003 um, activating clearing bringing light into the 12 chakras acknowledging them working with them intent with intent and what this immediately does is it puts you in harmony with the highest light that is available at the moment obviously the the light is very high and it is rising by the day so the way i've always done this is i work with the light that is coming in so the first chakra that i activate is the one at the top of the column which is the stellar gateway and then i work down for those of you that have done Diana Cooper's meditations before, she tends to work from the ground upwards, from the Earth Star upwards. But it all just pers it's completely it's completely personal preference. Um, if, for those of you that are kind of very grounded and very on the Earth, then then you will have probably have been taught to work from the from the Earth Star upwards. I tend to work from the light coming in downwards, but it, it doesn't matter either way. So wherever you are in the world. The, the, we're going to work with the archangels that govern these chakras as well. We're going to go right back to basics. This is the very first technique that I learned. So with your eyes closed, just take a deep breath in. Breathing golden light, peace, purity and harmony into your lungs and feeling that spreading out throughout your body. Take a deep breath in. Breathe in the gold ray of Christ. And as you breathe out, feeling it spreading through the cells of your body, okay, filling up your lungs, moving into the rest of your body system. So you might even visualize it flowing through your veins like gold. And just really feel yourself lighting up. Any stresses and strains or any Monday concerns that you might have, just feel them completely flooding away. and exhaling golden light and feeling it moving further throughout your fields. Feel it moving into your mental body, feel all the thoughts and the perceptions and sometimes that, that racing, spinning feeling that you get within the mental body, that is particularly when the light goes up and your bodies are put under pressure immediately to clear what isn't resonant. Just, feel, just do, this, do this manually. Feel it just slowing down, feel it clearing. And as you breathe out again, feel it moving into the emotional body. Feel all the, anybody's fear, any disharmony, any uncertainty, just again, flooding out of the emotional body as the golden light floods in. And then moving out into your spiritual field. As you get used to breathing the golden light in and exhaling it, you will notice automatically that your spiritual field around you just grows larger with every out breath. So I want to bring your attention 
You can either sit there continuing to breathe or you can start begin to focus on the chakras now. We're going to start, we're going to call upon Archangel Metatron to light up the first of your chakras, which is the stellar gateway, about a metre above the top of your head. So you just see Archangel Metatron's bright golden light touching, lighting up and activating your stellar gateway, the golden chalice, a metre above the top of your head. And as this light opens up very brightly, you will also notice that you are connected to multiple sources of light that are coming in from the universe at the moment. This all comes in via your stellar gateway. So keep it clean and clear and well presented, well working. And just allow Archangel Metatron to light up your stellar gateway now. Take another deep breath in and exhale as this light clears and starts to move down from your stellar gateway now. And Archangel Metatron steps back now and we are joined by two more Archangels, Archangel Mariel and Archangel Zadkiel, who are now lighting up and activating your soul star, which is about a foot above the top, about 18 inches above the top of your head. And this might look like a beautiful magenta or bright blue chakra. Now this is where all your spiritual gifts and your talents are kept okay many of you are activate you are already accessing this now so as you work directly with your soul star you will be bringing through your gifts your talents your knowledge your wisdom from all of your high frequency past lifetimes so just allow a few moments so archangel mariel and archangel zadkiel activate this for you And again, you might see a bright flash of magenta blue light about 18 inches above the top of your head. And then gently move your attention down to the causal chakra, which is just above the top of your crown. And a lot of us, our causal chakras are still highly active from the, the powerful full moon that we've just experienced. So allow Archangel Christiel, who oversees the development of the chakra, just to touch, light it up and balance it. Looks like your own personal moon just above the top of your head. This allows all of the divine feminine wisdom to flood into your consciousness and also for the higher frequency souls to access you and vice versa. That's, that occurs via the chakra. And directly to your left hand side, see a crystal, gold, crystal golden yellow presence. And this is the mighty Archangel Jophiel, the teacher angel. And he is now lighting up the crystal gold of your crown chakra now might even feel the Archangel's hand on top of your head and the crown chakra begins to tingle as it activates and opens. Your crown is your seat of your wisdom. Okay, this is not other people's wisdom and knowledge. This is your wisdom and knowledge that you are bringing forth for the ascension process at this time. So just allow Archangel Jophiel to touch and light this up for you. Might even feel a tingling and a buzzing. This is the first of the physical chakras. The other three were transcendent. Then Archangel Jophiel steps back into your right hand side. You are being joined by Archangel Raphael in this beautiful emerald ray. Now he is lighting up your third eye, so just take a few moments. I even feel that physical contact on the front of your forehead, your third eye. That's the very clear crystal ball 
of your fifth dimensional third eye is lit up, cleared and activated. And just feel any mist or any fog or any remnants of that veil just being removed now. Just ask, Ar ask Archangel Raphael to balance your third eye for you so you can see clearly with high frequency vision because there are a lot of illusions out there at the moment. Just ask Raphael to clear these for you. Okay, and Archangel Raphael steps aside now. We're being joined by the mighty Archangel Michael in his electric, vibrant blue energy. And you just allow him to touch, light up, and activate your fifth dimensional throat chakra. And sometimes a lot of people experience quite powerful physical sensations when working with the throat at the moment because so much is coming away. Just allow Michael to clear your throat for you. You might have been put in a position recently where you need to speak your truth or you might be about to go through that initiation where you step up and you speak out and you voice who you really are speaking words of love wisdom and mastery just allow michael to light up your fifth dimensional throat chakra which is bright radiant royal blue And Michael steps aside. Now you come to your heart centre, so take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're being joined by three powerful universal angels. Archangel Christiel, Universal Angel Mary, and Archangel Shamuel. Now they are touching, lighting up and activating all 33 petals of your fifth dimensional heart center. Just take a few moments, feel Archangel Shamuel lighting up the first 11. Then Universal Angel Mary lighting up the next 11. And Universal Angel Christiel lighting up the higher 11. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out you will feel that your heart chakra has expanded from shoulder to shoulder. Okay this is your most this is your most powerful asset. This is your fifth dimensional heart center. This is the chakra that is changing the energetic face of this planet physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. Feel it shine. And as these wonderful angels stand aside, to be aware now that you have been joined by Archangel Uriel, the angel of peace in this beautiful ruby and golden light. And he's lighting up the golden disc of your solar plexus. Okay, just take a few moments to feel your solar plexus. A lot of us have taken in energy from other people or we've taken in fear and disharmony from the field or we might have cords and attachments from other people who are very needy at the moment. Just Archangel, ask Archangel Uriel to change the vibration of your solar plexus from fear to love. Okay, you might want to place your hand on your solar plexus at the moment. Go from fear to love. From fear to love. From fear to love. And just feel all energies that do not belong to you just fall away. And feel that solar plexus shining very brightly, bright radiant gold. Okay. Now being joined by the crystal diamond presence of Archangel Gabriel. He is touching and lighting up the bright radiant orange of your navel chakra. Okay, the navel chakra or the movement of the navel chakra is one of the most powerful energies on the uh, on the planet at this time, ascension wise. <coughs> It is quite literally reconstructing 
the blueprint of our societies. So just take a few moments to feel him lighting up the chakra of unity, of oneness, of togetherness, of higher consciousness. And you'll see it glowing a bright radiant orange. And Archangel Gabriel also oversees the development of the fifth dimensional sacral. So just take a few moments to breathe into the soft rose pink of your fifth dimensional sacral chakra. And just feel him light this up for you. So many of us have changing relationships at the moment with the people around us. The people that might have been there in your lives before are falling away and being replaced by your soul family, people who resonate with you, people who support you. Okay, so just allow him to light up, clear and balance your sacral. That support is there for you as soon as you believe that you deserve it and you draw it in. Now Gabriel also sees, oversees the development of the base chakra, which is a beautiful bright platinum. Okay, so just allow him to light up and activate your fifth dimensional base chakra now. Breathe into this. And just feel it lighting up. And as you do so, just you can, might want to say this out loud or in your head. I am my higher self. I am my higher self. I am my higher self. And just really sense and feel the power within your base as this anchors in the highest version of you that is available at this time. And just gently Bring your attention, allow your attention or your intention to flow down your legs to the soles of your feet and below the soles of your feet is a very bright, very iridescent, silver or hematite grey earth star chakra. Now this is being lit up and activated for you now by Archangel Sandalphon. Feel it below the soles of your feet, feel yourself grounding in. Now at this moment in time, just take a few seconds to set the vibration that is perfect for you, for your day. Okay, this doesn't matter what is going on around you, your earth star will control the vibration that you are functioning at over the course of the day. Ask it to set it at the optimum level for you so that you aren't vibrating too low, you're not vibrating too high, you are just right. Okay, so just take a few moments to do that now. And just feel yourself set, feel yourself solid, feel yourself stable, feel yourself grounded. Now from your earth star chakra now you might want to see a beautiful bubble of silver light coming all up and round you. Almost like in a protective ball, this is a beautiful exercise that Diana Cooper has done with people many times. Just allow your earth star now to surround you in a very bright silver bubble of light. Okay, this is your personal sphere of grounding, of high vibrational reality. And you're now stood by a, uh, surrounded by a circle now of archangels who are all smiling at you. Okay, and they are there at on hand at all times to assist you with anything that might <coughs> be going on within your chakras, anything that is presented to you within your reality. So just feel your vibration now, feel how different it is from when you began this exercise. And just realize that as you go through this ascension process, everything that is kind of projected out into your reality is always, it's, it always comes or it is always connected to one of these 12 chakras within your body. 
okay so happy monday hope you all have a beautiful start to the week and i'll see you soon bye for now